All right, finding the real zeros of a function. This is a, I don't know if it's either an algebra one or algebra two text, but let's look at this for a second because this is not obvious. Um, but this is the kind of stuff I notice when I do this kind of thing. I notice here I have two, four, and then here similarly, two, four. I'm starting to think factor by grouping. So factor by grouping. What if I'm wrong? I'll have to. I mean, if I'm wrong, you'll never get to hear this, uh, hear or see this video anyway. Factor by grouping. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start setting this out. I'm going to just factor this. So I'm going to factor this piece right here. If you don't mind. Factor this piece right here. And then I'm going to factor this piece right here. Please forgive me. Pretend that you can see that there's a plus sign in between those two things. This is not multiplication. There's a plus sign in there, right? So I'm going to factor this out. I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take two x squared out here. So I take two x squared out of there, and two x squared times right times x is two x cubed, isn't it? And two x squared times positive two. So I'm just going to check my math here. Two x squared times x is two x cubed, and 2x squared times 2 is 4x squared. So that works. Remember, there's a plus sign in here somewhere. I'm hiding it. So these are, I'm adding these things. So here, I'm going to factor out. Ooh, I'm going to factor out a negative 2. So I'm going to factor out this negative 2. And then, and then I'm going to do this. Check this out. See, it doesn't work. I'm going to factor this out. This is, and this is what I'm looking for here. I'm going to factor another x plus 2. You see that? So I, this is what's really cool. I have this x plus 2 here and x plus 2 here. And it's this times x plus 2 and then this times x plus 2. So I could turn this into two binomials, couldn't I? So this whole thing is going to equal 0. I'm going to have my 2x squared minus 2 as one of my... And I'm going to multiply that times x plus 2. And if you're going, what the hell just happened? Um, everything is cool. Hang in there for a second. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you in just a second. I think I think it works. I truly do. I think it works. And why is that true? Why, how do I get to two binomials? Look, this is two x squared times x plus two. Look, two x squared times x, then times two. So that this thing is satisfied. And then over here, I did negative two times x plus two, and it's negative two times x plus two. It's all there. Why would I do this? Because I'm using now the zero product property. Freak your teacher out when she asks you. That. Well, why? I'm using the zero product property. Okay, and we want this thing to equal zero, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to ask ourselves, well, when is this thing equal zero? So we're going to bring this down. These are our factors. And we're going to solve our factors for uh, that value that where they equal zero. So equals zero. And we would have 2x squared equals 2. We're going to divide both sides by 2. So divide it by 2, divide it by 2. And 2 over 2 is 1. And 1 times x squared is x squared. And 2 over 2 is 1, so we have x squared equals 1. And, and what number times itself is equal to 1? Well, x is equal to 1, or x is equal to negative 1, because negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is also 1. So here's one solution, here's another solution, but there are more. So I'm going to take this piece out here and do the same thing and say, ask ourselves with this factor, when does that thing equal 0? Because if I can make this whole thing equal 0, then 0 times whatever this mess is is going to equal 0, and vice versa. So here we get x is equal to negative 2. So those are our three solutions, I believe. x is equal to negative 2, or x is equal to negative 1, or x is equal to 1. I hope that was helpful. This stuff is worth it. I know it's a pain, but when you get great at this, the other math will be really easy. And you ask anybody who knows calculus, what's the, what's the best way to tell if a person can do calculus? Tell, ask them if they can do algebra. So good work.